Hey guys, the Click ODAC wizard is an add-on to the Click Visual Analytics platform. It helps you to dramatically speed up your on-demand app generation projects. The main concept is to provide a wizard-based approach which guides the user through the complete creation process. The solution is very easy to use and it is also very easy to deploy. You will be able to save hours while creating new on-demand scenarios. Last but not least, the solution is available as an open source project on GitHub and we do see a lot of contributors. Let's jump into a live demonstration. An ODAC scenario typically starts with a selection app. So this has already been created. I'm now in the selection app and you see that this is really a highly aggregated view on a huge data set. And I would like to take this as a basis to jump into detailed information using the ODAC functionality. So I jump into the ODAC wizard. The first thing that you can see is um, a description of the overall ODAC creation process. So first of all, we have to choose a selection app, the one which is, has already been created. Then we have to choose a data source because there are um, dependencies on uh, specific uh, SQL languages, for example. Then we have to select the fields that we would like to pass over from the selection app to the template app to create a dynamic workhorse. And at the end, we can automatically create the template app through the ODAC wizard. So let's go ahead, choose our application. It's the ODAC aggregate. In this case, we are talking about a classic SQL uh, database. We can select the fields that we want to pass over to our template app. Let's take year as the first field. The second option that we have is to select what do we want to uh, pass over, how do we want to pass over those values. So do we only want to pass over selected values? Sometimes you don't use those pass over fields as a selection criteria in your selection app, so you have the option to also pass over the white values or even take the most advanced one to say, okay, I want even selected or optional values in those case. We have to determine what kind of field type it is, so it's a string or a date because there's a specific syntax uh, available for those specific uh, field types. So let's go ahead, select the next field, which is quarter. Do the same stuff over here. Let's take the origin code as the next field. And the final field should be the destination which is behind the destination code. So now we have some more options. For example, we can take a look at the script which the ODAC wizard is about to create for us. But let's take a look at this afterwards. So the next step would be to create this template app. And as the system states, this has been successfully be processed. So. We have some more tasks to do, so of course we want to have a dynamic data load script, we want to apply the dynamically generated where clause to our fact table. This is what we have to do in the next step, and we have to add some dimensional information and use the where exists command, and at the end we have to add the ODAC link to our application. Let's jump into the app which has been created. And you can see this has already been prepared for us. So all the stuff that you typically need to do uh, within such kind of scenario where you have to write down this, this script and at least adopt it to your specific data model, this has automatically been done. This has been done by the ODAC wizard for us. So you can see all our fields over here, year, quarter, origin code, destination code, and those fields are automatically included in this dynamically generated where clause which we just have to add to our fact table. So at the end, we only have to apply this where part to our selection statement, and then we are good to go. Finally, you have seen that we will be able to create a complex on-demand scenario even within just a few minutes. 
If you're interested in the Click OLEG wizard, just visit developer.click.com for more information. Thank you, goodbye.